Hey guys, we're here with Old Leroy. So, one of the guys mentioned that the dash cover was the later version. Absolutely it is. As I did the video on the Speedo, which Stan has, it is a date code 44 white face Speedo. So what I think happened is in 44, I'm going off the date code of the Speedo, the gentleman in question went somewhere between 44 and 46 down to the Harley shop. Remember the date code on the Speedo is when it was made, not when it was sold. There's a difference. And upgraded his machine. If you look at the handlebars, much older chrome than on the dash. Absolutely real dash, but older chrome. Follow? He's got post-war gas caps. Post-war dash. Post-war taillight. Okay. He's got post-war headlight. Post-war headlight bracket. Post-war horn. And a post-war rear leg. Now usually, especially during the war, man, people were starving. <laughs> oh God, they, they went through some hardship. They were, it was really rough for the average American. It was horrible. We weren't out of the Great Depression, and now you got all these ration privileges that you didn't have. No ration stamp, you didn't get it, period. People today just don't understand the hardship of the Great Depression and World War II. But we're about to find out. Hard times are coming. So, anyways, my personal view is that this bike was a, a fairly high-mile bike. Cracked the crackable rear leg. Got that replaced post-war. Duded it up a little bit. And voila. So, exactly when this paint job got put on, I don't know. There's no way to know. It's just awfully coincidental that all the super cheap late model stuff is on there when the early shit that's expensive is missing. So, usually that happens in conjunction with this, at the time, brand new paint job whenever that was done. What we have is a little bit of history. So let's look at the dash again. There is the dash out. Here is the dash on Jade. Original paint dash on Jade. My last 41 f You guys remember Jade, right? See the dash? That's the pre-war dash. So now what we're going to look at is bring this up here should be right here aha uh -huh. here is the bike I now own 41 FL same headlight horn see that front fender tip that's in for, from 48 you follow but this picture was taken in 1987 when the man just got it and that little seven-year-old kid roughly eight whatever He's now a 38-year-old man with a 9-year-old daughter. Now, in 90, that gentleman there brought that bike up to my shop for me to look at when I was on the Tuna Canyon. And I just happened to have a real nice high-end original paint I bought from Mort Wood. It was now gone. It had 4,700 original miles on it. Original bill of sale. Every accessory you could possibly think of. All the bling you'd possibly want. And I said, no, this is this is the original paint. And your bike is not. It's a nice bike, but it's not original paint. So, awfully coincidental, all these years later, I have the mo motorcycle. That's just pretty funny. Pretty coincidental. So, anyways, so that's that. So, what I find is really cool, until I can find out other information from disassembling the machine or history that has come forward, I think the family or the friends of the family somebody repainted this to sell him a expensive at the time original paint machine to somebody who didn't know any better that's what i think so let me give you an idea of 1990. A buddy of mine jack dodd in 1990 calls me up and says hey man my buddy jerry over laid laws he he's got this cool 12 harley if you want it it's for sale let's go check it out so i go over there and this was an original paint 12 in much better shape than this knucklehead. 
but it was a single. I'm like, and how much you want for it? And I'm like, 15. I'm like, ugh. Oh. If it was a twin, I'd buy it in a minute. Now, 15000 was above the market. It was a ten or $12,000 bike. And I didn't really want a single, but I should have bought it because it was just so cool, original paint. So, flash over to the early 2000s, and they sold it for $340,000 15 years later. Who the fuck saw that coming? Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. But they printed a lot of money between here and then. It's called inflation. But they might just went and bought a milkshake at McDonald's for $4.50. Well, I remember when big, giant fucking milkshakes were 75 cents, and they were three times the size of what you get today. Couldn't even finish them. So, it's called inflation. And we're about to get fucked with inflation again, because the United States just printed more money than ever in history. So just wait for it. Everything's going to go up two or three hundred percent. But the, but the rate of pay won't. You watch. They're purposely starving the Americans as they get rich. Both government parties. So there it is. There's the 41 FL. Now again, for those of you who've forgotten. In 1941, this was a $438 motorcycle, and $438 was a lot of money. My buddy Mort Wood bought his first house in 38, and his house payment was $14 a month, and he wasn't sure he was going to be able to make it. $14 a month. Then we had this little thing called World War II, and then the Korean War, and then the Vietnam War. Then all the businesses need to be bailed out with tax write-offs in the 80s, trickle-down Reaganomics, as they flooded our streets full of cocaine, all of North Affair, and Reagan gets up there and says, I don't remember. Yeah, inflation. Inflation. They keep printing money, Federal Reserve, fucking the little guy, because they get rich. So, anyways, here's the bike. It is still a timepiece. It is still a really cool bike. What's really cool about this bike to me, it is not 100% correct original paint 41 FL. I can ride this bike. I can fuck it up and fix it. Wow. So if somebody doesn't buy this bike, I am so tempted to go through it and put a dog rack on the back. You never know. This might happen. See ya.